what is going on guys Tom here welcome to today's video super excited to talk to you guys about when and how to quit your nine to five job now I've been getting this question a lot and if you are wondering when to quit when you start Amazon FBA um, that's what I'm gonna be talking about to you guys but first I wanted to do this kind of drive-by video to, uh, for you guys and show you guys some of the things I've been doing so right beside me is the lot that we purchased uh, that we're gonna build our new home in Milton and uh, I wanted to bring you guys so today I wanted to check it out see how much development has happened looks like there's barely anything they've just dug out a little bit and that's it so super excited that house is gonna be ready next March so I'm gonna be doing more videos in there when they do the framing and everything so that's an exciting process so how and when should you quit your 9 to 5 job when you do an Amazon FBA that's the topic of today's video now one of the things the question that I get is hey um, when I start my Amazon FBA when I start posting my listing and I'm getting some sales should I quit my 9 to 5 job and I'm always on the side of caution guys like I never want you to quit something that um, your livelihood depends on it when you should quit your job is when you've actually replaced your income with Amazon FBA now I know that it could take six months to some of you guys it could take three months for some of you guys and it could take a year for some of you guys is there is no real answer to this it's really when you feel comfortable that things are going well I if you if you if you start your listing today and you are selling amazingly on Amazon right and you have one product you have forty thousand dollars that you're making per month out of this product right let's say that's one of the really uh, good case scenarios for you when you start Amazon FBA should you quit your job no I I want to suggest you guys that you should have at least three to five products in the game before you start even thinking about it right this is to replace your income and you want a sustainable income there is nothing worse than actually quitting your job right and then your products start to decline especially when you have one product you see that it's making you forty thousand dollars a month and then all of a sudden it decreases it starts going down and all of a sudden you are not making as much as you thought you were so because of that we do not want to quit our job just yet yes you can maybe take it a little bit easier maybe um, focus on it a little bit more spend some time I know like two doing two jobs because Amazon FBA will be another job in the beginning and then it gets way easier as you go into the process and it's gonna become like an hour two hours a day kind of thing and then the rest are just profits for you guys so never ever quit your job on your first product and that is a misconception that a lot of people um, they basically think that oh once my product started I'm gonna be able to quit my job right away and I'm so excited and I'm gonna do all these great things no do the great things first and then quit your job make sure you have a stable business make sure if you're adding products make sure each listing is properly done guys and each listing in order to ensure that you're successful at each listing of your which basically is each product you gotta make sure that you're doing your launch properly you gotta make sure that your product is profitable first of all like you've done your due diligence uh, you've done your product research and then you're launching it right so you have to make sure that you're getting your initial reviews like I've told you guys many times that you have to get some reviews yourself nobody is gonna start buying your product if you don't have some uh, social proof that is basically telling people hey look uh, my product is selling it is in demand you know what I mean but if you have zero reviews what are the chances of you buying that product and I've used that restaurant analogy with you guys many times that if the restaurant is empty nobody's gonna go into it even if the food is amazing it's just because people see people follow that's how it is the majority of uh, the difference between entrepreneurs and the rest of the world is that we see things differently you have to be able to anticipate a buyer's uh, a buyer's psyche you have to be able to understand what actions that you take will influence a specific decision that was that's what marketing is so you have to take each step accordingly you have to understand that in the marketing in its base as in its basic concept right is that you have to promote your product 
first you have to show them that this is a legit product for you to buy and you gotta make sure the quality is good for your product your listing is top-notch the pictures are great the copy is uh, is very marketable it's really written so that to entice the customer the consumer to buy your product over your competitors right so you gotta make sure all those things are great because once you launch your listing right you got one chance with each buyer they're gonna click on your product right they're gonna click on your listing and then what's gonna happen is if they don't like it they are just gonna go out of it and not come back to it so your first impression is key you have to make sure that the first impression is the best impression that you're gonna make and once they start seeing that okay this product is legit um, I like it they have some reviews um, you know like the social proof is there I actually feel more comfortable on top of that you're gonna do coupons and giveaways coupons and giveaways will really boost your sales so that's what it is guys that's what a proper launch looks like and I've done like extensive videos on proper launch for you guys so check those out make sure that you follow the steps uh, correctly and in order right because that's important guys you cannot jump to the last step and then go back you cannot do that that's not how it's gonna happen so that's what it is once you're comfortable enough that your first second third and fourth product are selling right that's when you can start thinking about quitting your job especially if you have a family there is a lot of expenses that depends on it right so you guys got to think about that you got to think about your uh, rent or your mortgage right you got to think about uh, your uh, food grocery bills you got to think about your kids if they're in daycare their schooling their clothing everything you got to think about everything before you can actually quit your job and believe me once you set up your Amazon business properly right within six months you're gonna be able to quit your job you don't have to um, you don't have to like continue working two jobs because it's gonna really drain you out so what's gonna happen is once let's say you're making um, sixty seventy thousand dollars a year right once your profits now that's not your sales guys because I would I like to always always encourage you guys to have at least 50 percent profit margin when you're selling your product so once you have that and your products are selling and it's giving you let's say you're doing a sales of 120 that means 60 percent of that is your profit now um, that's an average number not all products will have 50 percent some will be 40 some will be 60 so I'm just taking an average for you guys once you've replaced your income that's when you can start thinking about um, quitting your 9 to 5 job and believe me there is no sweeter feeling than that and then you gotta scale your business do not get lazy guys I have seen so many great sellers that they started really well and all of a sudden everything just died down they could not sustain and scale their business one of the most important things you can do with Amazon FBA is to scale your business make sure that you are thinking long term not short term guys if you're thinking that it's a quick in and out cash grab it's not guys like you're not gonna succeed that way yes you will probably make some money but why not build something beautiful for yourself so you can focus on your life and live the life that you always wanted that's what it's all about guys that's what we want to do with Amazon FBA it's not really about like you know making money the first year and that's it and going and just disappearing after that and enjoying uh, the profits that's not what I'm trying to tell you guys that's not what I try to preach or teach that's not um, what I'm about I'm about sustainability and long-term business goals guys um, my goal here is to provide as much information for you guys so you can have a sustainable long-term business right um, my goal is not for you guys to entice you guys with Amazon FBA nothing like that that's why I'm spelling the secrets for you guys on Amazon FBA spelling some of the things that gurus are telling you guys that may not be true guys so um, and or even worse if it really worked for them and maybe they're an anomaly that they made seven figures right away so they never had to experience the hardships of some of the things that I have experienced and other Amazon sellers have experienced right so you got to think about that guys it's all Amazon FBA is really um, a perspective as well you get different perspectives from different sellers and the best perspective you're gonna get is from sellers who have been in the game for a long time because they have seen it all they have done it all and they have made their money so again to recap when you should quit your 9 to 5 job 
when you have replaced your income that's the key doesn't matter when it happens doesn't matter how it happens but when it happens that's when you do it you do not do it beforehand even if you're at 50,000 and you were making 60,000 I do not suggest that unless it's really something that your business can hit big by you focusing a lot more on it so then in that case okay but again guys the best the rule of thumb is to always make sure you have replaced your current income and you can sustain that right and do not do it if it's on one product I guarantee you guys it's a recipe for disaster thank you guys so much I hope you guys enjoyed this driving video I'm gonna do more driving videos for you guys just get out of my home office a little bit you know change it up so you guys can see a different scenery of uh, what I'm about and where I live and everything thank you if you're a new subscriber or a new viewer please subscribe I really appreciate your viewership guys really appreciate your support and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and that's it yeah so I will see you guys next time bye